The final race of the day then. Here we are ready for the All 4 and Super 1600s final at Pembrey for round four. Martin Hawks, David Bell, Adrian Turner on the front row. And then the Super 1600s is headed by Craig Lomax. Ready to race board is on. Green light and go. Good start from the front row then for David Bell. He gets the advantage over Martin Hawks down to the first corner there side by side. Bell on the inside for the next part of the turn. He's got the inside line. Adrian Turner also picks the pocket of Martin Hawks there as well. So from first to third goes Joker then. Does Martin Hawks as does Darren Scott from second place in the Super 1600 category allowing Craig Lomax to continue on. Bill Chicken now moves himself up into second place in the Super 1600 category but not for long because he makes a mistake on the gravel section and that allows Darren Scott to come back through into second position in the Super 1600 class. So now it sits with David Bell at the front from the number three of Adrian Turner then from Craig Lomax in the Super 1600, the Citroen C1, a brand new machine for 2021 for Craig. And there's no love lost between himself and Darren Scott, those two coming to blows earlier on in the day here in the qualification sessions for the Super 1600s class. And hopefully we won't see any uh, fisticuffs out on track here in the uh, final for this category then, but it's all action stations then as Craig Lomax goes for the Joker, he emerges out behind Darren Scott then so that first lap joker for Scott proved to be an absolutely brilliant decision he emerges ahead of Craig Lomax but behind the number three of Adrian Turner in the all four mini so two different categories battling for overall positions then here in the final meanwhile into the final series of corners comes the race leader of David Bell followed by Adrian Turner I was chatting away to Martin Hawks actually in the paddock earlier on talking to him about these cars and he said that they haven't been able to get a limited split dip for these machines. They've actually had to pay for them to be bespoke made. They've ordered 10 and it's cost an arm and a leg. And I can imagine it does because running a new category, introducing a new category is never going to be cheap. And especially when you have to get the parts manufactured yourself as well. So great to see these all four minutes being represented by the three drivers out on track. And we're hopeful that the numbers are going to continue to grow throughout the continuation of the 2021 Five Nations British Rallycross Championship though. Meanwhile, Craig Lomax now all over the back of Darren Scott's Citroen C2. Down the back straight they go. Scott closing up onto the back of Adrian Turner behind the wheel of the number three. Apologies, behind the wheel of Martin Hawks. Uh, he is there now, is Darren Scott. So leading the Super 1600s, but battling for third place overall in this final against the all four mini driver. Can he find a way through? Can Craig Lomax join the party? That'll be an interesting kettle of fish to see whether they can do so. Over the timing line they go, starting the third lap. These three drivers running nose to tail for one another. David Bell still continues on as he leads the way, or did lead the way, before he jokers then. Where's he going to emerge? It's just ahead of the number 35 of Martin Hawks. That allows Adrian Turner to take over the lead of the race. But Turner, of course, still owes that joker lap before the end of this one. And the joker, as we know, can be proved to be so crucial in terms of strategy. And it's kind of divides opinion amongst Rallycross fans. Some people like the idea of a joker lap. Some people don't like it. I think, personally, that it adds just that level of competition, that level of strategy involved. It really makes the drivers think and can make things just that little bit more unpredictable rather than sometimes when we have a bit of a procession where it runs to the nose to tail, especially on a twisty track like this where overtaking might not be the easiest thing for the drivers to be able to do. Anyway, Adrian Turner still continues to lead the way at the start of the penultimate lap in the all four mini. So high up, he'll feel like he's got a nosebleed at this point. David Bell in second position, followed by Martin Hawks. So the all four minis running one, two, three in this race. Darren Scott versus Craig Lomax coming together. Ever so slightly through there. In terms of positions, I mean, at least. Not in terms of contact on track, thankfully. As I said, not the first time we've had that today, and hopefully it will be the last. So over to start the penultimate lap, I should say, rather, we're about to do now. Six laps for our final in the all four minis and the Super 1600 class. And David Bell closing up onto the back of Adrian Turner. When is Turner going to go Joker, though? That is the crucial question. We're on lap five. He continues on the normal route for now, then. Continues leading the way. He wants to reap that glory for as long as he can. And I'm not surprised because David Bell, as we know, just given the gap, is going to take over at the front before the end of this race. Martin Hawks there sitting in third position overall in this one and overall in the. Uh, all four mini class there as well. Darren Scott from Craig Lomax from Phil Chicken 
in the Super 1600 class in the C1s and C2s. Turner then coming under all sorts of pressure then here from David Bell, flicking it right, flicking it left, and onto the start, finish straight to start the last lap of racing here then. Down in towards the first corner we go. Darren Scott closing up onto the back of Martin Hawks. Can he find a way through? No opportunity presenting itself thus far. He's not quite close enough to mount a serious challenge on these drivers. Going Joker then is the number three of Adrian Turner. That allows David Bell to come out into the race lead. Very close for second position though. And Martin Hawks has just got the overcut on the number three of Adrian Turner then. So brilliant stuff from Martin Hawks. He's out in front. Adrian Turner's through into third position. And now the battle for the final positions in, or the first positions, I should say, in the Super 1600 class is up for grabs because Craig Lomax has got the better also of Darren Scott as well. Those two running nose to tail, but David Bell over the line and taking the win in the all four minis class in the final here ahead of Martin Hawks ahead of Adrian Turner and Craig Lomax just gets the better of Darren Scott to the line in the Super 1600 category ahead of Phil Chicken as well and Darren Scott actually stopped on the side of the track so I wonder whether there was a bit of further contact between himself and Craig Lomax after the chequered flag as I said no love lost between those two drivers that certainly won't be what they'll have been hoping for dearie me well, David Bell takes the final win and the final race of the day here for round four of the Five Nations British Rallycross Championship.